question number 145 says which of the following graph represents the variation of resistivity with temperature for copper now I hope you already know copper is a metal and for metal resistivity actually increases parabolic with temperature so as clearly the first graph can you tell me what is the first graph representing actually the first graph is representing the resistivity of semiconductors with temperature so this can't be for copper second graph it is showing the parabolic increase in resistivity with temperature so yes option number two is the correct choice for this question so I hope the idea of resistivity variation with temperature is very clear to you in this question moving further question number 146 says light of frequency 1.5 times the threshold frequency is incident on a photosensitive material what will be the photoelectric current if the frequency is halved and intensity is doubled now that's a confusing question for you you might be thinking that if intensity is doubled photo current should also be doubled but first of all let me just check whether the photo electrons will be ejected or not in this question the incident frequency was 1.5 times the threshold frequency now when you reduce the frequency to half of its initial value it will become less than the threshold frequency now do you expect a photo electron to eject from a material when you are incident a light which is having a frequency less than the threshold frequency no so no photo electrons will be ejected and no photo current would be present in this situation so that's a very tricky or a conceptual question and the answer is zero yes i hope this question is very clear to you so let's move further to the next question that i have so in this question number 147 a 40 microfarad capacitor is connected to a 200 volt 50 hertz ac supply the rms value of the current in the circuit is nearly now clearly this is a ac circuit when in which the 200 volt is the rms voltage supply to the capacitor and the frequency 50 hertz is given to you so simply let's try to solve this question this question is from the chapter alternating current and you should remember one thing the rms value of current should be the rms value of voltage divided by the impedance of the circuit now in this circuit only capacitor is present so obviously i should replace the z value with the capacitive reactance that is x c and i hope you remember the relation that capacitive reactance actually one by omega times c where omega is the angular frequency c is the capacitance now frequency is given to you you have to find out the angular frequency so simply i can write down over here omega is equal to 2 pi frequency and i can use this relation in this expression so rms value of current will be 200 divided by xc so this will be 200 into omega into c so this is 200 into 2 pi frequency into capacitance rms value of current is equal to 200 into 2 pi frequency is 50 hertz and capacitance is 40 microfarad so 10 raised to the power minus 6 factor will also be there now rest remains is to solve this expression so simply what can i do these two zeros one zero one zero if i solve it this will be 5 into 4 20 20 into 2 40 40 into 2 80 so 80 pi into four zeros i have cancelled so 10 raised to the power minus 2 so this is 80 pi by 100 so this is 0 0.8 of pi and if you put the value of pi you will get 2.5 of ampere so rms current flowing in the circuit will be 2.5 ampere so out of the given options option number two will be the right choice for this question so let's move to the next question